Welcome, everybody. Um, George Donnelly back with another uh, Bitcoin Cash Builder interview, this time with Jomar Tagana, the lead developer of Spice Token. How are you doing today, Jomar? I'm doing great, George. Thank you for uh, having me here. Excellent. It's my pleasure. So you're based out of the Philippines, is that right? Yes, that's correct. Uh, in the Philippines. Cool. Cool. So Spice Token, this is the most known uh, the most memorable, perhaps, uh, token uh, in the Bitcoin Cash ecosystem, an SLP token, right? It's a simple ledger token. Yes, right. When, uh, when did you first start uh, with Spice Token? Um, I got involved last year um, around uh, March, April, around that time. But um, the, the token was created in February, uh, for, uh, yeah, mid-February uh, 2019. Um, yeah, uh, it's been um, almost two years of, uh, you know, building up, uh, um, getting the project to, to where it is now. Excellent. So what is, you know, why did you get involved with Spice Token and what's your vision for the future of Spice Token? You know, in just a few words. Um, so I see Spice as a, like a, the unofficial fun token, engagement token, appreciation token for Bitcoin Cash. So it's it has like played that role anyway for for since since the beginning, and we would like to uh, expand on that, uh, build more use cases uh, around those themes, and then really make it um, fun and rewarding for everyone uh, involved in in the BCH community. Cool. So Spice Token, you could say, is kind of like a fun way to onboard noobs. Exactly. Right? Yes. Mainstream people. Right. Yes. And where does it does it work? It works on Telegram, right? There are like bots mm, and things. Yes. So we have a Telegram tipping bot. Bots? Yeah. Uh, the tipping bot, which has um, expanded. Actually, so our tipping bot supports a uh, custodial wallet. And um, uh, we created a system where other bots can connect to the to the custodial wallet in order to build like games um, trading uh, whatever other applications um, that uh, developers can think of um, yeah but cool yeah the so, main implementation yeah, so far... yeah correct it's a telegram bot uh, for now cool yeah so so far i've seen it used in a lot of uh, bch groups uh like I hit plus plus or I give a thumbs up and somebody gets some spice tokens. Exactly. Yeah. Or, yeah. or, you know, like maybe somebody doesn't, uh, like what I'm saying. So they pillory me and uh, I can't talk in that. that chat oh yeah. Yeah. That, that, was, I mean, that was quite controversial. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, yeah. the pillory feature, you know, uh, yeah. It created some, I was uh, very creative though. Yeah. Yeah. I was very creative. Yeah. I've never seen anything like that before. I thought that was pretty cool. <laughs> okay. You know, it's like uh, community-based moderation, you know. Yeah, something of that effect. Exactly. <laughs> so uh, now you're running a uh, flip starter. Tell us about your flip starter. What's, uh, what's the goal behind it? Okay, so um, the, the project um, aims to... Like expand. Uh, so as I mentioned, we are um, based in, in Telegram now. We would like to expand to Twitter, to to Reddit. We, we actually had bots before in those platforms, but uh, it was it was too much to handle for a new project last year. So uh, we had a lot of issues uh, left and right. So we we decided to focus on Telegram. So for now, um, since we got everything stable in Telegram, we I think. We are prepared um, now to expand to other platforms. This is really uh, about it. This is the core of what this flip starter is. Uh, it's about growing the project, growing the user base, and um, it, it, in a way that is um, that will become uh, that will help us become sustainable. So I'd like to see this project um, earn enough to cover for the expenses um, for the uh, for the operational expenses and even more. Sorry, and even more become profitable. Um, and um, that's why we, we want to ask this amount because we don't want to go back again later and say, oh, we, we run out of funds and uh, we, we don't have enough money to bring this through. So it's, it's, it's part of a, uh, a larger plan 
to to grow the project and really help um, at, at the best time of uh, BCH to really push for adoption. Um, I think that I think the timing is right, the alignment is right, and we want to do it really um, really well uh, towards that goal. Cool. So right now, your the project produces some income, mm. right? It just doesn't it just doesn't cover your costs. Exactly. Yeah. But yeah, and yeah. I saw in the flip starter you have some good information about that. You know, like your I think it was your per user income, and uh, you know you lay out all the costs, um, and basically you need to to go a pretty big way. You know, as things stand. Um, you know, just being on Telegram is probably not going to get you where you need to go, right? Right. Yeah. So the big target, uh, really, at least immediate target, is uh, Twitter. Um, mm -hmm. We were there anyway uh, last last year. Uh, there, there is just some uh, modifications we need to do in the code uh, to restore that and to add even more features to make it a bit more a bit more engaging in in Twitter. More than just uh, tipping. We can have the contests feature, um, like um, uh, random selection from people who who mentioned a uh, particular topic or person, um, and all those uh, all these fun uh, things we can do in Twitter, and we're, we're really excited about it. Cool. So yeah, on Twitter, I, there are a couple things that I use a few times now, like Chain Tip and CC Tip, that permit me to say, for example. Hey, if you retweet this post, I'll give you, you know, like a hundred sets or something. Yes. Yeah. Um, something like so that. what? So what will? So once you know this flip starter is, is funded and you guys do the work and and spices on Twitter, what will we be able to do with Spice Token on Twitter? Um, um, so you, you see already uh, many of the features in other uh, bots, uh, like uh, as you mentioned in Sysitip and uh, in Deeper Bot, and there are other features that uh, uh, we can port into um, uh, Spice Bot, and um, there are also uh, we are also open to exploring other features that will make it more fun and. Uh, hopefully, something more specific to the to the Bitcoin Cash uh, SLP community. Um, I, yeah. I think I think the unique thing um, uh, for Spice Bot is that we have a token, we have a native token, uh, Spice, uh, and um, some ideas surrounding that, like um, giving more incentives to Spice holders, um, and uh, yeah, uh, we're open to exploring uh, other features that, that will make it more fun for people to use SpiceBot in Twitter. Cool. Yeah. So, so I'll be able to do like those, um, like posts where I pay people in Spice to yes. retweet it. Yeah. Yeah. And what's the? That's that's good. I mean, I like that. I think that's very that'll be very helpful. Mm -hmm. And um, what's the contest? You mentioned mentioned a contests feature. Uh, Can you tell us more about that? Like um, um, you, it's it's almost the same like um, putting a, a like a bounty prize or or a prize in in Spice or any SLP token or BCH uh, to to anyone who will who will mention or share or retweet uh, a particular content, and then you can either as a manager of that contest you can either random select. Or, or base it on some base your selection on some metrics that will be presented to you as well uh, in, in an interface oh. something like that we, we already started work on that actually um, just had other priorities uh, to, to work on I like that because uh, for example right now I'm running just a little contest together with a Bitcoin cash uh, partner um, decent um, and they they make a hardware wallet uh, and yeah, right now I, I'm not sure. Like, I have to go through everybody who retweets, and and pick three people at random. Yeah, and that's... there are probably some tools out there that I'll look for. But it'd be really cool if I could, you know, do one tweet that 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 promotes or brings awareness about something in Bitcoin Cash, mm -hmm. pay people to retweet, and also if it could just automatically give me like three or ten random winners, you know. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. I think yeah. that'd be that'd yeah. be really useful. That's for, exactly for the use case we had in awareness. we had in mind. Yeah. yeah. Ah, yeah. cool. Yeah. I, I think that'd be great. That'd be really interesting. 
So uh, also looking at so e, looking at the flip starter and the flip starter is at flipstarter.spice.cash. Um, so you even have some stats here. Um, so you guys got 542 new users in the last month, uh, f- almost 15,000 total users. And so what, so what one thing, so you're building a spice.cash portal. So what's games.spice.cash? Okay. Um, so we, while we are building um, in Telegram, we noticed that there's uh, a lot of limitations in the chat interface. Um, uh, there are uh, uh, we can we could improve the user experience if we if we have it in a like a web web interface. For example, for the games, um, it's 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 fun already. Like uh, we have the the dice the dice bot, uh, wager bot, and we have the junkin bot where you play uh, paper, rock, scissors game. But it's it's chat based, and um, it I think uh, for for many people who are more visual, like they want to see something uh, I don't know colorful, <laughs> I don't know uh, more more engaging to the eyes. Uh, that's that yeah. was one of the motivations behind uh, creating a. Uh, web portal, so specifically for the games. So we have the games that spice that cash. Um, we will port over our chat-based games to the to to that to that portal, uh, and then create more games on top of it. And um, we can play around with how like um, doing their rankings and the dashboards because we like we we now have a canvas of uh, creating a better u- user experience uh, that way. Uh, yeah, so. That's uh, for the games part, and also there are other uh, things that really could be done better in a in a in a web interface. Uh, trading, for example, uh, we have a trading bot. Uh, or also, uh, we haven't been promoting it, but uh, it's there, it's working, and it's uh, uh, steadily gathering uh, uh, people uh, are using it. Cool. So you can trade B, uh, BCH uh, for uh, Spice yeah. and, and vice versa. Yeah, yeah. and mostly uh, what yeah. I've seen so far is it's mostly used for uh, uh, Spice. So uh, trading Spice with other SLP tokens mostly. So you see, we have a growing uh, number of uh, SLP tokens, and um, mm-hmm. for for Spice bot, um, we we do we do our part to to do some research on the SLP tokens before we list them in SpiceBot and before they can be uh, used in the trading. And like for now we are supporting, uh, I lost the count, like maybe five, like a handful of, uh, of, of tokens. And so the, the trading is like mainly between the SLP tokens and mainly with Spice, uh, usually as a trading, uh, one of the trading pair. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's good. That's good because I don't think there's enough liquidity, you know, or options for trading SLP tokens. I mean, we have the Memo Dex, you know, which is nice. Uh, CC Tip has has starting to do some stuff there. You know, we're waiting for uh, D Token, but you know, this I think like a Telegram trading bot is quite accessible, right? You know, right. So, like anybody can use it. You just need a Telegram account. Exactly. Yeah. That's excellent. So uh, what about, okay, so also you're doing swap.spice.cash. So that's that's basically the, the same thing or is that different from the no, trading? This, this is more like if you're familiar with side shift, um, this, this works, uh-huh. uh, something like that. So you, you want to instantly swap your, your SLP token with another token. Um, so this is that service and uh, it, 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 it's, it aims to uh, um, uh, replicate uh, the uh, AMM, the automated market making uh, system in in uh, common in uh, DeFi projects in ETH, uh, where people will put some uh, will stake some tokens to provide liquidity, and then in exchange they uh-huh. get um, uh, a portion of the transaction fees when someone is doing a swap on on the liquidity pair that uh, uh, people provide. So it's uh, this is more actually uh, we have a collaboration with this in, and with other builders to to brainstorm um, on how this is going to be built. Um, 
but but that's that's the overall idea excellent excellent i think that's that's really good you know i think we, it's, slp is a real op opportunity uh for gr bringing new people into bitcoin cash you know and growing on chain transactions oh well th this um, one is going to be uh custodial so that's if if you're asking what what makes it different from for example the token i, I believe the token is a non-custodial uh, uh exchange so it's a dex um for for our swap service it's custodial so it connects to the wallet of spicebot so really the goal is um to once you have these spice tokens or slp tokens you have in your spicebot wallet we are uh, giving the user an opportunity on how they can uh, let their spice flow in a way like uh, how they can <laughs> use their spice their slp tokens for whatever for appreciation for amusement or uh, maybe later on to buy stuff uh, because we are planning to put a store as well for a, a merch store or an ft store uh, so it's this is like giving our users um, more um, ways to 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 use their spicebot uh, custodial wallet to spend their tokens cool so you mentioned nfts what do you think uh like i've seen uh, quite a bit of noise uh buzz around nfts what do you think could be the future of nfts on and what are nfts you know for those of our listeners who aren't who, who aren't aware and what future do you see for them on Bitcoin Cash? Uh, okay, so NFTs are, they're called non-fungible tokens. So these are unique uh, tokens, non-exchangeable, non-interchangeable tokens. So if you if you uh, talk about, uh, uh, for example, SPICE, SPICE is an example of a fungible token. So one SPICE is just the same as another one SPICE from another person. So you can interchange them. For non-fungible tokens, every token is unique. And... Uh, this this system it's it's not uh, it's it's also it, it exists in other systems as well so we have it's just that for SLP we are making it uh, uh, simpler to to create your uh, NFTs and um, one particular use case uh, for this is like um, uh, in a game where you where you have items that you bought for example these are unique items that uh, you bought in a game. Um, with, a, with the NFT in a blockchain, uh, we can uh, like a proof of we have we have a stamp of the proof of ownership of that item if you create an F NFT for that. So, for example, um, if if you've heard about the Sphere, it's a game. Uh, uh, the project is uh, uh, led by uh, Joey, who is one actually of the uh, co-founders of the Spice Project. Um, they're mm -hmm. making good progress there. And um, they are using NFT uh, to to represent items in their game, uh, the characters as well. And um, we are working with them um, in order to uh, maybe use an external store where game items can be sold. So uh, this 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 store is going to uh, like uh, grow together, become more popular together with the with the game. Um, so we are collaborating with his team to enable this. And um, the store will also feature um, uh, merch items, like uh, you want a jacket with Bitcoin Cash or with Spice uh, print in it. Uh, it's been actually a, 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 a request, uh, something that we needed, uh, we wanted to, to, to do last year, but we're not able to. Uh, yeah. Um, we we want to uh, uh, put put this all up in, in our store uh, store that spice that cash. Very cool. Yeah, and the sphere uh, also did a flip starter. Oh yeah, uh, yeah. A little while ago, it was yeah. quite successful. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that coming out as well. Yes. <laughs> there's, so there's a lot of things now being built um, that uh, I would say uh, focus more on adoption. Um, uh, like the sphere is is one. Uh, I, I I we are also working together with the Honk team. Uh, we are building the mm -hmm. sports betting side. Uh, we have good progress in there as well. So I I myself is I'm, I'm excited about uh, all these projects and and the teams are like working together to to make this happen. That's great. That is great. 
So what do you see? So there's a lot of interesting thing things happening in the SLP world. There's uh, Spice, there's Honk, there's a uh, refund token, there's our new. Um, I have a token and haven't done much with it yet, but I'm using it to kind of fund my business plan um, for a, a wallet, uh, for the a wallet, like a level 2.0 use wallet for the developing world. But what do you think is missing in the SLP world? I mean, we even have Tether now on SLP, right? Yeah. What, what do you think is missing? We have FlexUSD as well. Uh, oh, the, yeah. The stable coin right. that uh, earns you interest. Yeah, it's it's been uh, yeah it's fun uh what new project from coinflex, CoinFlex the exchange exactly. yeah, yeah. yeah um yeah. so what's uh what i think is missing um i think um in ter in the technical part uh we we, we need to uh uh maybe make changes in the protocol or maybe in the in, in bch itself to allow for uh more programmability of SLP tokens. So for, for now, uh, one of the uh, difficult things to do, or I, I'm not sure if somebody has managed to do uh, uh, swap, uh, SLP, SLP swap uh, thing, because there are some limitations in the protocol. Uh, but um, I think uh, people are working on it. And so if we, if we allow more programmability in uh, uh, SLP, like, uh, really uh, doing more in smart contracts uh, with SLP tokens. Um, that will open up a lot of possibilities for builders. Um, uh, think about like a DeFi explosion in, 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 in Ethereum. Um, we could, uh, to some extent, replicate that or even uh, evolve that in a way that is unique uh, to, to SLP or BCH. Uh, Taken uh, considering that uh, our base layer is really uh, much different uh, from Ethereum. So Ethereum being an account-based um, blockchain and ours is uh, a UTXO-based uh, blockchain. Uh, there are advantages and disadvantages in, in both uh, types of blockchain. But I, I believe that if we if we evolve uh, SLP more to become more programmable, um, uh, more easily, uh, yeah, programmable. So we could um, create uh, more DeFi products that are more like unique to the to the to the blockchain uh, to the ecosystem uh, that we are mm -hmm. cool so i mean you're involved with maybe the most popular or the, the most used or one of the most used slp tokens in bitcoin cash and you know i i'm always talking to uh, new builders, you know, people who want to get started, who may, may be from, you know, the developing world, who maybe, you know, uh, are just kind of getting started on their journey. So on, on, on your journey, you know, on the journey of the SPICE token uh, from, you know, humble beginnings to, uh, you know, its, its, its path towards growth now, um, what, were, what were some of the challenges? You know, because as new builders get into projects, they run into to roadblocks and people want to give up or they get frustrated. Like, and, you know, Spice has made it pretty far. So what, what were some of the stumbling blocks uh, for you guys? Yeah, we had uh, quite a few things, uh, almost fatal uh, issues we had uh, last year. So um, I think one of the things um, that had, we had difficulty with was the infrastructure. So we were using um, uh, the REST API from Bitcoin.com. Uh, uh, that, uh, that wasn't really that reliable for, for, for building like uh, applications or even at our scale, I wouldn't consider it like a really large scale project. Um, we ran into some issues about like reliability of the APIs and um, Actually, it's it's more like uh, the BCH infrastructure in general, N not not BCH blockchain in itself, but all the supporting infrastructures that builders can use. Um, at least when we started at that time, there wasn't like a uh, like a robust system we can tap into um, to to easily build projects on top of. So uh, we had to like build our own uh, somewhat. Uh, supporting infrastructure that 
to keep uh, the spice bot stable to keep our own infrastructure stable and 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 i don't think uh, that other projects who 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 want to build on top of bch will will have that uh, expertise or maybe like uh, the the money to 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 build these supporting infrastructures uh, for themselves but um to be fair uh, actually there there were a lot of changes since then so we have we have like a, a full stack that cash uh, chris Kautner's, uh, uh, uh full stack that cash where where people can just uh, connect to and then build uh, uh, applications on top and that's that's really something uh, uh, something that uh, will accelerate uh, the progress for new for new projects uh, to to avert some of the issues we had uh, that that the spice project had in the beginning. Um, so those were a few mm -hmm. things, and there there were some uh, uh, other issues, uh, but that that were more on our side, like uh, the challenges of building a custodial system um, on top of a blockchain. So there's like a um, how, how should I say uh, uh, misalignment? So you you have a blockchain that is decentralized, and you want to create a, a, an application that is centralized. So uh, mm. there there were some technical uh, issues in there that we had we had to struggle with, uh, but eventually we, we learned a lot in in the process. Um, and um, I think that's why at this point uh, we'd say the project is mature enough to to go the next level. Uh, we can bring this to the next level. We are ready for the next 10,000, 100,000 users now, which, which I cannot say like six months ago. I, I wouldn't be prepared to say we are ready to, ready for growth. So for now, now is the time, really. Excellent. So um, Joe Mars uh, uh, Flipstarter is at flipstarter.spice.cash. So Give us give us your elevator speech, you know, for for people who are considering um, participating in the Flipstarter, you know, let's uh, sell them on it. All right. Okay, so um, how should I say that? Um, Spice has been a, a popular token uh, in the BCH community. We we are we have a stable following. We were able to sustain the project, um, although the revenue is still uh, small. But we we would like to grow the user base, and and then grow the the revenue to the point where we can sustain the project and even uh, support other projects, um, uh, which which is something that we really want to do as well um, to help grow the SLP ecosystem and also direct indirectly the the BCH ecosystem, and. Um, we we need your help to get there, and we want partners um, to to chip in. Uh, so really, we consider you partners because we we, are, we have a, our profit distribution token. Uh, we would like you to to succeed with us in this project. So support our flip starter. Cool. So what what's the profit distribution token? Oh yeah, I should, should mention that. Um, so yeah. Um, I'm pretty confident we can we can make this profitable, uh, and um, I, I would I would like to uh, get everyone involved, uh, at least those who, who support the project financially or otherwise. Uh, this should be a rewarding uh, experience for everyone. Uh, for me, this is this is less of a money making project. Like uh, I don't I don't want to uh, get all the money for myself for my team. Uh, this is really uh, like uh, the joy of seeing the community grow. Uh, and your involvement in it, uh, it's it's a uh, it's something that you know it's, it sparks joy, uh, as one would say. Uh, and I'd like everybody who is involved in the project to to be rewarded. To to to, yeah. That's why we have this token for for uh, profit distribution. So we I created the the uh, Spice Project shares uh, token, and everyone who contributes to the Flipstarter, uh, we we give ten of these tokens per dollar. Uh, contribution and um, just keep that token around for some time and then a year or two uh, when when we have uh, the the profits then we can uh, distribute proportionally uh, to the to the uh, holders of this token excellent excellent so yeah spice tokens an interesting project 
uh, helps bring new people into Bitcoin Cash, helps add new transactions to the chain. So the Flipstarter is at uh, flipstarter.spice.cash. Give it a look. It's still got a few days to run. Uh, Jomar, thanks so much for this interview. It's been a real pleasure speaking with you. Thank you, Mar. Actually, this is this is such a very helpful interview. Uh, thanks, George, for everything that you're doing to the community. Uh, yeah, I salute you for that. My pleasure. My pleasure. Thank you. You know, thank you for everything that you've done. So right. signing off, let's keep building Bitcoin Cash. <laughs>